Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K19 today. Got two new cards for you for gameplay, and one comes from the Throwback Elite, and the other one just comes from the normal Throwback set. But both look pretty good. We'll start off with the main enchilada. Boom! 95 overall, Chris Mullen. Now I'm gonna run him at the two. I don't know. I just I never pictured him as a small forward. I always pictured him as a two. So that's where I'm gonna run him. 98 offensive overall, 92, 6, 7. So he's as tall as Clay Thompson. To me, he reminds me very similar play style as Clay Thompson. Two Hall of Fame badges and catch and shoot. Deep range dead eye. Of course, he's got limitless range. Along with some other good stuff here. Looking very, very good. But let's check out the, the freaking stats here. 95 standing lip. 89 driving. He's got an 80 post fadeaway. Not bad for a uh, small forward there. So 83 draw foul. 95 for the mid range. And then 97 open shot three. That's incredible. He's got 90 off the dribble. Not too bad. 93 free throw. Uh, he's got the same driving dunk as Clay Thompson. Believe it or not. 80 ball control. So... Even with the shoe, uh, you might be able to get that up with a coach and a shoe. So you can make him speed boosty if you absolutely wanted to. 95 shot contest. 78 steal. He has got... Oh, I'm looking at it. He's a little bit slow, just like Clay. So this is like an exact replica of like Clay Thompson. 89 lateral quickness. 81 strength. His defense is a 95 consistency. 89 on ball. 90 pick and roll. Man. This guy pretty much does, and this is a walking Clay Thompson here, just like the other Clay here. Very, very nice. Now the other card, <laughs> Mr. Cheese himself, Yao Ming, 88 overall Ruby, our first Yao Ming card. I don't expect it to be too great seeing it is a Ruby, but nonetheless, I want to try him out. 7-6, the only reason people ever use him anyways is because of his size. He's got brick wall, rim protector, drop stepper, pick and roller, put back king. Let's check out the stats, 98 standing layup. How could it not? Being that tall, he's got a 94 post hook, 97 post control, post fadeaway of 75, 82 draw command. He does have an 88 mid range, not bad there. No free throw, or no, sorry, no. He has a free throw, no three ball. Um, he's got no driving dunk, standing dunk of a 90. Um, his block is an 80, 92 shot contest, box out. His rebounding is not too bad. His speed, your grandma could probably walk faster than him. Lateral quickness of a 27. And his defense is kind of trash. His on ball is not too bad. You really don't need. The only thing that's going to hurt this card is his speed up the court. But we got two pretty cheesy cards. One in different areas. One is a shooter. The other is just a freaking lockdown in the paint. How are they both together? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. All right, it looks like we found an opponent. And wow, oh my god. <laughs> Look at this team. Not too shabby. Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, Blake Griffin, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. We got Diamond Chris Mullen. We got the Ruby Yao Ming. Oh, baby. We're going up a good to good squad. I can't wait. Over to Mullen so he could get in there. Oh, my God. Giannis makes light work of Kareem. Mullen right off the jump. Mullen off the jump. Ooh, contested. Yikes, that was a heat check thing I want to see. Oh, yeah, okay. You want to test out the Mullen? Let's test him out, even with the snowflake. Like, oh, God, don't stop it. Pop it. Put it in our... Oh, damn it. Not so good of a moving three yet. Um, Mullen, Mullen, deep one. Ooh, I like it, though. Damn it, Mullen. What are you freaking doing? Well, well, uh, we are going to have a tough time with this chrome. Oh, what's going on? Into Dwight Howard. There we go. Give me the deep one. There we go. Money Mullen. Live up to the name, please. Look at the big guy running. Oh, he's got the 88. There we go. Oh, Yao Ming, you idiot. Buddy, big man in. Big man in. There we go. Yao Ming. Oh, he didn't even have to jump. Back out. Paul George throwing it into big Yao Ming. Yao Ming, little jumper. Splackety mackety. Probably do something. Three. Chris Mullen. Bang. Oh, my God. He's shooting terrible. I started the second quarter. I'm going to get Yao Ming back in. He didn't see much gameplay. And that Chris Mullen, man, he should be hitting lights out. We need to really step it up with him. Disgusting. Running around looking up to Yao Ming. Oh, oh man, I didn't even stop that. Oh, I'm going to throw it up to Clay Thompson. Clay Bay, do you got it for me, brother? Yes, you do. And make him run and run him, big guy. There you go. Oh, oh, look at the authority. What do you think you are, Sean Kemp? I am right there in front. What are you doing? He is a freaking lob master. There by Yao Ming. We're running down the court. I'm throwing out to Paul George. Paul Jizzy. Paul oh, Jizzy. Get up there. Give me the space. Oh, my God. And then his shot goes slow. I can't learn his release. Again, I'm going to throw it out to Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen. There you go, buddy. There you go. Deep range. Money Mullen. Let's see more of that, please. 
Give me that steal. Let's go. Grant Hill running. We're going all the way in. You get the steal, you get the meal. That's how it works. Absolutely slaying it. Oh, no. You gave Money Mullen space. Bang. Oh, Money Mullen, bro. Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen will keep running back in to Grant Hill. Looking back in. To, there we go. Oh, wow. White man's got hops. Oh, good rebound, Matumbo. No foul. How is, what is this game? All right, guys. Update at halftime. Chris Mullen. I already knew this was going to be atrocious. 5 of 13. 3 of 10. He's shooting 30% from the freaking three ball line. And then 6 of 10 from my boy Yao Ming. Yao Ming. He's killing it. Freaking Chris Mullen. I got a lot of work to do with him. Start of the third quarter. We got a lot of work to do with the Chris Mullen. And Yao Ming really just got to keep doing what he's doing. He's doing okay, but I expected more out of Mullen. And I need to see it. Oh, of course he is. Oh, don't. Oh, he gave him space. Too much. That's in. Oh, -ho -ho. Coming alive right at the beginning there. Oh, give me another. Give me another, sir. Down the court three times before Yao Ming gets back in. Somebody still finds a way to score. We go into freaking Yao Ming. Yao Ming, you can't give him any room or that's what happens. Can we do it? Can we block him out? Oh, he gave me the room. He tried. <laughs> he just got out of the way. I try a little pick and fade. Can we get a pick and fade? Can I get a pick and fade or not? Just get ripped while Yao Ming takes his time. He's spent, man. He doesn't have much of a freaking stamina at all. <laughs> Dude, he is so glitchy. Throwing it back up to C. Mully. C. Mully, he's got the freaking... Oh, there we go. Green bean. Money Mullen. Look like an 80. Oh, that's even better. Three is better than two. Why can't I learn his release? It's because you're a dumbass. Umbo. Even though he's got a decent little speed, he is not the move right now, man. He is not the move. Try Matumbo. Okay, I don't know why he gets out of the way like that's going to do something. That just gives me a better pathway. Start of the fourth quarter. We gave him a little run there at the end. Not impressed by that. Not impressed with me. But it's time to kill his dreams and stomp this puppy to the ground. We'll take it over. On who I actually bring the ball up with. There we go. Little releases, man. I got to remember his release is easy. Don't make a mountain into a molehill. Switch that. And that's Grant Hill. Grant Hill. Grant Hill. Oh, little point guard from Chris Moley. Okay. Matumbi up to Moley. Moley. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. We might have to bring the ball up with Moley. Ooh, I see a nice little pass there. Yeah. Wide open spaces. Dixie Chicks. I don't know who I'm talking about anymore. Chris Mullen, easy shot. It's black. Finally learned it. Only took four quarters. Combo, let's go, let's go. Throwing it up to Danny G. Danny G back over to C. Molly. C. Molly, stop it, pop it, put it in our pocket. Molly has seen his time. Molly is it. Why is he not playing on the tumbo? Why? All right, let's go. Oh, freaking Giannis onto the Kupo. How can you live without this card? Pulling back over. Looking over to Danny G. 4 3. Bang! You know it's good because it rhymes. Come on to get up the court. Oh, back out. We're so worried, man. So worried about the big guard. We need to start looking for the cherry. Oh, did we get a fast break with Yao Ming? That that just happened. You you just saw a fast break with Yao Ming. For a cherry. Still looking for the cherry. Still looking. Oh my god, why isn't he guarding Yao Ming? Anything close to the rim is green. There we go. There we go. Back it in. Oh. I I don't know who's gonna stop him. Who who can stop that? Cherry. Could it be right here? Probably not. Oh, here we go. Little jumper. Cherry on top. Cherry on top. One more. Cherry on top, number two. All right, guys, that is going to be the game. Shout out to my buddy, yo. Yao Ming and Chris Mullen are their own separate glitch for many different reasons. But that didn't stop them from stuffing the stats. Let's check them out. All right, guys, checking out the stats. Yao Ming, 30 points, 6 rebounds, 15 of 21. Actually shot very efficiently. 9 dunks. 9 dunks. That's what you get when you're 7-6. But, guys, this card is easily a very good budget center. I mean, it's a ruby card. It's not very expensive. It's under 10K. So, right away, I mean, if you're a guy balling on a budget, this would definitely be a center to consider. Cons immediately are definitely a speed. His speed being in the 20s brings him down two points automatically because that is ridiculous you literally have to wait for him to run his freaking slow ass up the court and it is definitely annoying but the one thing that's positive he's so freaking tall that he can pretty much make anything that he gets close to the rim also he doesn't have a very good vertical so he does get out rebounded quite a bit that i noticed so those are two things to consider so on a one to ten 
I'm gonna give him a seven. He doesn't jump very high. He is deathly slow. Doesn't have the greatest defensive present either, other than his size. So seven out of ten. And on a price scale, anything under 8k, you gotta steal. I would spend up to 10k for this card. It's a ruby card, so I mean, I anybody should be able to afford it. So you got a nice little budget center there. Now Chris Mullen is one of the best releases in the game. Why I struggled with it is another reason. It wasn't because the card was hard to shoot with. It's because I couldn't... Get, I don't know. My timing's off. I don't know. I feel like I'm just off. My eye coordination with the screen is not working very well today. Some days I got it. Some days I don't. Today I didn't, man. Why I made this Chris Mullen look like a freaking shitty shooter is unbelievable. But he definitely shot... I mean, we almost got him back to 50% at 11 for 23 7 to 16, a little under 50%. So, I mean, we kind of resurrected it a little. It was better than it was. It was in the 30 percentile for three-pointer. And I don't even remember what it was for the field goal. But this is a very good card, guys. It kind of does it all. I mean, he is, your, he is pretty much your budget Clay Thompson. Granted, he doesn't have, you know, Hall of Fame limitless range and corner specialist. But he's got catch and shoot. And I think he got, what was it? Did it was it dead? Was it deep range dead eye? Is that what it was? That's what it was. Very, two very 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 nice badges first cost so i picked mine up for about 170 i'd like to see it pick them up somewhere in the i would say anything from 145 to like 160 anything below that obviously is a cop but 145 to 160 isn't too bad of a price for this especially seeing he has probably as good of release as clay thompson has about almost equal defense i think it's a little bit lower than clay's but it's damn near close and i mean he's basically your poor man's clay thompson and poor man i mean i mean for a diamond for a diamond i mean obviously there's other good cards that are way cheaper than clay thompson but i would say the closest thing that you could get minus two all of fame badges is going to be this chris mullen same release it's damn near the same card i mean they got almost identical stats in a lot of areas so very kind of freaky it's cool that they're both on the warriors too so that's kind of cool so hopefully oh on the chris mullen i'm gonna give him a nine and a half because of speed and also he doesn't have a lot of drivability but other than that he can do everything he can shoot he can lock down everything you need a shooting guard to do so guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did leave the video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're new and reach your nation party on